Hey everyone, it's Dr. Chelsea here with Sozo Chiropractic in beautiful Castle Rock, Colorado. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about something that is on everyone's minds, and that is immunity. And there's many different things that we can do to improve our immunity, and especially during these extraordinary times that we're living in. I know that a lot of people are asking those questions of, well, you know, how can I make sure that I don't get sick? And not just now, but really all the time. And one of the great ways that we can avoid uh, getting sick is really exercise. How many times do we say movement is life? And exercise, I know, sometimes makes people like, oh, I don't, I don't necessarily want to do that. And exercise can be something as simple as taking your dog for a walk. Now, while we are in these social distancing times, that is a great thing to do. I know my dog is certainly loving all the extra love and attention I'm giving her. And exercise is a very important thing or movement really in general because it is what keeps our bodies healthy. Our joints, they are like, you know, a hinge. If you don't move it, it gets rusty. Our muscles, if we don't strengthen them, they get atrophied and weak. And our bones, again, if we're not doing things to uh, put a little stress on them, they'll get weak. So things like osteoporosis, you know, demineralizing those bones, them getting weaker. That's because we aren't using them properly, especially as we get older. And so when we look at the numbers of how our country used to be versus now, we find that we're a very sedentary society. Back in the 1950s, the average American used to walk about 15,200 steps, excuse me, a day. Now it's down to about 5,200. So that is a massive decrease in overall activity. And that's because we're not doing as much labor intensive work now. And we're doing more of that desk sitting, staring at a computer screen all day work. And so what we need to do is we need to find ways to incorporate exercise into our everyday lives. And exercise, it not only has, you know, a positive impact on our mental health, which I know a lot of people especially could be using right now, you know, with the social distancing comes a lot of anxiety and stress and even some depression. And what they've actually found through research is that exercise, cardiovascular exercise especially, is actually just as effective as anti-depression and anti-anxiety medication. It also helps improve memory. So get outside, go for a walk, go for a jog, you know, do different things. You can do body weight exercise in your house, you know, squats, push-ups. If you can't do a full push-up, do a wall push-up. There's many different things that you can do and you can look on YouTube for different exercise ideas too, yoga even. And now that's all very important, right? But the big question is how does this help our immunity? And it really comes down to hormones. So when we exercise, several things happen. When it comes to insulin and uh, insulin sensitivity, when we exercise, our muscles that need the energy actually become very, very sensitive to insulin. So our overall insulin levels decrease because we don't need as much to get glucose into those muscles. And that's very good because then the fat cells also aren't storing glucose during that time as well. When it comes to our epinephrine, that stimulates our fight or flight response, our sympathetic nervous system, and that gets our heart increasing, our cardiac output, and ultimately what happens is we get stimulation and secretion of human growth hormone, and this is where the immunity comes in. Human growth hormone is great for many things, but it also improves our immunity. They found through research that immunity uh, is increased with moderate exercise. And uh, you don't wanna do very vigorous exercise every day, all day, um, because that actually has a negative effect on our immune system. Uh, they found through research, so if you're someone like me, who's a former uh, athlete, and you wanna just push yourself all the time really, really hard, you can't do that, body still needs rest too. So doing some moderate activity exercise, you know, just riding your bike, again, going for a walk, going for a jog, um, just walking around your neighborhood. These are all great things to help stimulate your body and help really improve your immune system's uh, reaction and response during these very extraordinary times that we're living in. Now, if you have any questions, please just comment on this video below, send us a message, share with your friends, just you know, continue to stay positive during these times. We'll all make it through together and we'll come out stronger on the other side. All right, bye.